Hi everyone. How are you all today? I'm going to talk about the crucifixion of Jesus and what it means to us as believers. You all, because Jesus gave up so much on that day. And we're just going to be in reverence to the King of Kings who stood up for us. Who gave up his life for us. That we may live and be set free you all. So we are going to have a wonderful time. Praising God. Seeking God. And thanking God. For rosing on the third day. Let's go into oneness you all. Jesus our King of Kings. Lord of Lords. The wonderful risen King the Savior. Who was and is to come. Father, we thank you for sending your son who walked the earth in the flesh, oh God. Jesus, that we may be renewed and restored through salvation, through your blood that you shed on the cross. Father God, forgive us, oh God, for we know not what we do, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the Son. We thank you for the risen King. We thank you for the anointed one that you chose to be our Savior, our healer, our way, our truth, the resurrection, and the life. Father God, may you make us more like Christ, oh God, to be Christ-like, oh God. Jesus, remove anything from us that want to hinder us from receiving your word through this lesson, O oh God. Obedience is better than sacrifice, O oh Lord. Father, thank you, Jesus. May you cover us with the blood, O oh God. Send the receivers, our homes, doorposts be covered in the blood, O oh God, our families. This video is covered in the blood of Jesus. Let us be in oneness with you, O oh God, this day, now and forevermore, O oh God. We pray to you. We praise your name forevermore. I thank you, Almighty, for being a risen Savior. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so excited, you all, right now. I'm so excited because guess what? He rose. He is risen. Christ lives today. He walks with me and talks with me. Salvation to impart. You ask me how. I know he lives. He lives within my heart. And he lives within your heart. And others, you all. Jesus is worthy to be praised. Don't ever, ever, ever take him for granted. Peace be still. He is our way maker. In Matthew 26, 2. This is Serata.com Bible verses about the crucified risen king. Matthew 26, 2. You know that after two days is the feast of the Passover. And the son of man is betrayed to be crucified. He was betrayed. He took on the betrayal for us, you all, for our sins, for the remission of our sins. He who knew no sin paid the debt for us. That debt is paid. It is paid, signed, sealed, and stamped. We just have to accept him in our hearts and to believe on him as the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let his presence be in us and around us and through us each and every day to guide us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. He was mocked, mistreated, beaten, nailed to the cross, tortured for us. For us. Matthew 27, 22. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus when it is called Christ? Pontius Pilate. 
they all say unto him, let him be crucified. And Matthew 27, 23. And the governor said, why? What evil have he done? But they cried out the more saying, let him be crucified. Matthew 27, 26, then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Now, Jesus rose on the third day. Okay. Now, the third day is like a, a completion in the Bible. A lot of things was done in the Bible in threes, okay? So let me give you get let me give you all some of these for a second. Some of the things that was given in threes. Noah had what? Three sons. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay. The Ark of the Covenant contained three sacred objects: the gold jar of manna, urn staff that had budded, and the stone tablets of the covenant. Hebrews 9.4, Solomon's palace of the forest of Lebanon was designed with windows placed high in sets of threes facing each other. All the doorways had rectangular frames. They were in the front part in sets of threes facing each other. 1 Kings 7.45, likewise in John's vision, a triple entrance way mark all four sides of the city of the new jerusalem as in revelations 21 13 david bowed down before jonathan three times with his face to the ground and first samuel 2 24 41 and daniel regularly prayed three times a day giving thanks to god in daniel 6 10 13 Israelite men were required to appear before the Lord three times in a year. Now, all these things were so significant. Okay, now, Jesus did things in threes for reasons, the completion of his work. He completed a work in us on that cross. We were set free for deliverance. He is that sacrificial lamb for us, you all. Do you understand what that truly, truly means? That he gave up his life so that we can live eternity, not perish, but to be in oneness with him. The father sent his one and only begotten son that we shall live forever and be with him. The son of man. Who is this king of king? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who was and is to come. Our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, our light. He's the light of the world. That day was so significant. People grieved him on that day. Jesus even was sad because he knew he had to go through that pain. But he knew that this was sent by the Father. And he knew he had to be obedient to the Father. So whatever Christ did in the Bible was because he had orders from the Father. He was obedient from beginning to end. That's why he is the Alpha and Omega. He was obedient. Now how disobedient are us are, are we in our lives when we just go against the Lord over and over and over again? When he was the sacrificial lamb for us, that he died on that cross, you all. He died for us.
Hold on for a minute, you all. Stay with me. I need to pause for a moment. Thank you all. Let me give you the account of what went down leading up to this crucifixion, you all. Now in Matthew 27, when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. The Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. He felt remorse because, you know, Judas sold out the Lord for 30 pieces of silver, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. So Judas killed himself, okay? Because he felt so remorseful for turning on the Lord. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the potters filled to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. This is in Acts one nineteen. There was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of cho the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witnessed against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was wont to, to release unto the uh, people a prisoner, whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife said uh, unto uh, him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Brother of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas, Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. They were persistent. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. See, Pontius Pilate didn't see any wrong, so he didn't want the blood on his hands. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. So this is what the people were saying. Then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a, a crown of thorns, they put upon his head and reed in his right hand. They were mocking Jesus. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. Can you imagine you all? 
And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found the man of Cyrene, Simon, my name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. So Simon Cyrene was um, bearing a cross of Jesus. And when they were coming to a place called Golgotha, that is to say a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. Now, if you roll thirsty like that, you want, you want something that can quench your thirst. And they crucified him and part of his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. They divided all his garments to pieces. Okay. Now, all this stuff was prophecy, okay? This is what God ordained to happen. Jesus had to be crucified because to fulfill prophecy. And sitting down, they watched him there. He was guarded and set up over his head his accusation written. This is the Jesus, the king of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right and other one on the left, okay? So Jesus was in the middle. They were robbers. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads and saying, Thou that destroys the temple and build us in three days, temple build in three days, save thyself. If thou be the son of God, come down from this cross. So people, so they were saying um, for Jesus to save himself, if he's supposed to be all this and miracles, creating miracles. And um, if he was so... Um, you know, powerful that he could save himself from this. But Jesus, no, he was not supposed to do that because he had to give up his life for us. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, he saved others himself cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. Okay, so it was darkness you are. Powerful. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, Abathani. This is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, said, This man called for Elias. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. Did he love that vinegar? The rest said, Let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. So they really was mocking him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And be Behold, the veil of the temple was rent and twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. So picture this, when Jesus was put on that cross, and, and once he gave his life up for us, everything started going crazy in the earth. Earthquakes started happening. And the graves were open, the graves were opening, and the many bodies of the saints which slept arose. So the dead bodies that were saints that believed in God, they rose, they came up. It came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly saying, truly this was the son of God. So when this, this, all of this happened, the centurion believed that that was the son of God. And many women were there beholding afar off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto them. Among which was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's children. When the evening was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who was also himself was Jesus' disciple. Okay, He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. So... Joseph of Arimathea, wanted, he was rich and he, he wanted to be able to give Jesus a proper burial. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. Okay, And when jo Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. 
Okay, this is, was a process of, of um, when you deal with a body. And laid it in his own new tomb, okay, when, which he had honed out in the rock. And he wrote a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and, and, and departed. All right. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. Now, the next day that followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees came together into Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that deceiver said, while he yet was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Amen. Command, therefore, that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day. Completion. Lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, he is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first in the tomb. Pilate said unto them, ye have a watch. Go your way. Make it as sure as you can. Secure it. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Okay, you all. And the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Powerful. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow, his clothing. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. The angel, he is not here, for he is risen. Mm -hmm. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, Jesus met. Okay, you all, I didn't want this video to go out on me. Not today, not today, not today. This is not today. This is the day the Lord has made. You all, okay. Yes, his countenance was like lightning, his raiment white as snow. Okay. Let's say, where are we at? Let me go back. To, okay. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell him, his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. They rejoiced. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. So Jesus was sending for the disciples, you know, a message. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done, guard the guard. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while he slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. We'll make you secure. Okay. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee and, and, and to a mountain. It's a lot going on, you all. <laughs> and to a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So Jesus is with us, you all. Don't ever doubt them. Can't live without them. Don't ever doubt them. He reigns forever. He rose on that third day. Completion. 
he does a work within us. He completed his work to the Father who sent his Son. He is that Son, the risen King. We give it all over to him. He was crucified. He sat on the right hand, you know, of the Father. And, and he is crucified for our sins, okay? It's death when we don't have Jesus, and it's life when we have Jesus. Mark 15, 25, and it was the third hour, and they crucify him. Mark 15, 32, let Christ the King of Israel descend down from the cross, that we may see and believe, and they that were crucified with him reviled him. You know, it was one thief on the cross who reverenced them and asked them to forgive him, to take him with him to have eternal life, and the other one still was mocking them. So we're going to have, that represents people who believe in Christ and people who don't believe in Christ, okay? The two witnesses, they one believed in him and one did not believe in him, okay? So... The one person was asking to for forgiveness for his sins and the other one was still mocking. So he did not go with Jesus. Okay. Because he did not believe. But the one did believe. Okay. So as believers in Christ, we're either on the, the right side or the wrong side. Okay. We either stand for God or we stand against Christ. But he died that we may leave. That means we give it all over to him. It's surrender. It's submission to Christ who was and is to come. We cannot be saved through no other way. We cannot be saved through no other gods. We cannot be saved through no other way but through the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. This whole process, this whole event, holy event, spiritual event, Jesus Christ's spirit, he is holy. This whole thing happened for us. He who knew no sin was crucified, tortured, treated terribly, mocked, beaten, so that we can live. And we need to surrender everything, our inner selves, all that we have to, to him is paid. He paid the price. Jesus Christ paid the price. He's more than just a prophet. He's more than just a speaker or a teacher or a leader. He is Christ, the risen King. He is holy. Jesus said, be ye holy, for I am holy. He is a just God. He's just to forgive us when we cry out to him, when we believe on him, when we ask him to come into our lives and to give us that anointing and that change over us. We are not perfect. Only person that's good is God. It's not by our works. It's through the grace of God and favor that he gives us because he loves us. He's gracious to us. He say his grace is sufficient for us. So if we seek him, he's just to for forgive us, to heal us, to deliver us from our nonsense, wickedness. Your passion is to be for Christ who died for us, you all.
So much happened on that third day. So much in the Bible has happened in three days, threes, three months, three years. Jonah was in a whale's belly for three days. Jesus Christ of Nazareth who was and is to come is the best person that we could ever know. He is our best friend. We are safe with him. We are free. Those who are free are free indeed. We are free from all nonsense. When you endure to the end, you are free. You reap the harvest if you faint not. Jesus is so worthy. He forgives us through our nonsense. He blesses us abundantly. Even when we don't deserve to be loved, he loves us anyway. No one can do us like the Lord. Not your brother, not your mother, not your sister, not your cousin. Not your auntie, not your uncle, not your spouse. Nobody can do you like Jesus. Can you imagine what Jesus must have felt on that cross? Knowing that he had a task to, to take on, a big task. Of course, fear was there, but he knew that he would go see the Father. He knew he was doing the work for the Father for us. Because the Father loved his children, that he sent his only begotten Son, his anointed one. That's why he said you must believe on his Son to get to him. It's no ands, ifs, or buts. It's not five ways or 50 ways or 60 ways. It's one way to Christ. And that's through the risen king who rose the resurrection, the way and the light. He said, I am the resurrection. He resurrected his life for us. That we can live through the blood of the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah. Have mercy on us. Grace on us. His grace is sufficient. Through the risen king. The earth quaked. And shaked. The power of God. He sent his lamb. You cannot mess with the lamb of God. And he doesn't like for his children to be messed with. Jesus is that sacrificial lamb. He will help you. He will provide for you. He will put you to safety. He say, do not fear. Don't fear this world. But have that reverence and respect for him. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. When I think about what he's done for me, you all, my soul just rejoice and say hallelujah, salvation and glory, dominion, honor and power. The power of the Lord is here. Can't you feel the power of God over your mind, over your life? Receive him today. Receive him today. Tomorrow is not promised. Ask God to come into your lives, your mind, to help your family, unsaved family members, for them to give their lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who shed his blood. 
is not in vain. Seek him when, while he may be found. Seek him. Believe on him. Trust him. I always remember the word, trust me. Trust me. There's oneness in me. There's strength in me. There's life in me. There's eternity in me. Trust me, Lisa. Trust me. You all, I'm saying trust him. Trust him, blind faith, trust him. The faith of substance, things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's blind faith. Just believe on him. Whatever the problem, give it over to him. He is our redeemer. He is our redeemer. You are set free. Those who are free are free indeed. Will you believe on the Son and accept Him? He and the Father are one of me. You all, I pray that you all watch this video entire, to its entirety and that you feel a holy presence and anointing and the Holy Ghost fire of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you be healed in your families, in your minds, in your lives. Go with the love of the Lord and be blessed forever and ever. Jesus reigns. He is our Redeemer. Christ lives today. He's risen. He is King Jesus, you all. What is his name? King of kings and Lord of lords. He is everything. He is that way maker, that miracle work, and that promise keeper you are. He loves you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Just believe and trust him. Trust, trust, trust. Pray, pray, pray. Forgive, forgive, forgive. He say forgive others because he has forgiven us. He's a wonderful and awesome God. No other person can free us but the Lord. You all, I love you all to the moon and back. Be blessed. See you all next time for another lesson. Be blessed, you all. Read your word. Bye-bye, you all. Stay in prayer. Peace be still. Jesus' name.